some of the items in the stewardship guide, we break this down into three sections. Kind of one is what you can do at home. Uh, so we include things like not flush um, excess medications or pharmaceuticals down your toilet. Uh, many folks are instructed to sort of do that. That's the right way to get rid of those excess materials. But what they do is they flush right through the, the uh, wastewater treatment system and you're delivering them directly to the river. In addition, discontinue use of triclosan uh, antibacterial soaps, it's unnecessary. Minnesota Department of Health recommends uh, just using hot water and soap. We look at things you can do in your yard. Pick up after your pet, it's a major, major source of phosphorus and bacteria pollution to the river. Uh, rake up your leaves, use lawn chemicals wisely. Everything that's on your lawn is eventually gonna flow into the street and your street is waterfront property. Once it's in the street, it's in the storm drain. Once it's in the storm drain, it's in the river. So your curb is your lake shore, it is your river bank. Uh, and so honor that and do what you can at home, in your yard, in your community uh, to protect the river.